everybody, my name is Ophia and today I will be showing you how to make a totem pole bracelet. And so this is all that we're going to use to make the totem pole bracelet. First you'll need your rubber bands. I bought my I got a full box. Then you're going to need your loom, which is this. You're going to need a hook. I would say to use a crochet hook, but since I don't have one, I'm using plastic hooks. And then you will need an S clip or a C clip. This one, for some S clip or a C clip. Mm. Mm. So I'm going to start with this black, silver, or this one. So I'm going to use a mix of these two. So to start off, if you have this loom like mine like it's empty here and full here that's what I'm that's what I'm going to be calling the sides full and empty so if you have it like this it'll kind of be easier to follow through so yeah so first you start from the middle full end the full end has to always be facing you when you start your foot and then you go to your left side but you don't go to the first one you go to the second one so it's stretched out like that then you take another one and start from the second left and go to the third left. And then you keep on going from third left to fourth left. And then you go to fourth left to fifth left. So you take this, put it here, and you put it like that. So it like makes a straight line. slow so that you guys can follow along with me without having to pause this video. Now, since you're on the second to last, you take your last rubber band here and start from here and go to the middle. So it makes this type of um, angle. Then you go all the way to the back and do the same thing. You start from the middle and then go to the second right. Then you take another second to third and then third to fourth fourth to fifth and so on. Go from the um, second to last right and move to the middle. So it looks like this type of shape. So next we take your black rubber band and go from the middle, the first middle, to the second middle. Like this. And then you take your first color, and for me it'll be this purple. I take one and put it from the second middle to the second left. And I take another one and go from the second middle to the second right. And then you go from the second left to the third middle, and then to the And then my next color. So now I made one diamond here. So now you take your black band. But in this case I am using my black and white mixed tie-dye band. So you start from the bottom of the diamond and go to the top. So it looks like that. And then I'm going to push it down a little bit. So it's down there touching the purple band. Next I'm going to make my next diamond. I 
putting one like from the middle to the right and then from the left to the middle and from the right to the middle and then you take your next black band and then you start from the bottom of the diamond to the top of the diamond take my next group and keep on doing like that left to middle and then right to the middle and then the black band Black band. So now I'm here. I take my yellow band and put it from the middle to the ah, to the middle to the left and then middle to the right. But you don't you don't finish the um, diamond. Instead of finishing the diamond, you take your band and put it up like that. Instead of finishing it, you just put it up. Don't finish it. And then, we have to start looming. But to start looming, you need a cap band. And this is how you make a cap band. So you take your band. I'm using this gold band here. And then I put it over my two fingers. Make a figure eight. If you know what a figure eight is, you can make it and then put it over, but if you don't, this is what I figure it is. If your finger is pointing down, it turns up, but if your finger is pointing up, it turns down. Only one turn, not two turns. So then you put it, the other half on top to make this. And then you take it and put it here. Next step is to push all this stuff down so it's easier to loom it. I'm just going to push it down. Sticking your fingers through this is hard because it has um, pegs everywhere. This is what a peg is. This clear thing. That's the peg here. i show you what it is, like this. See this blank spot? It's the peg. So now I'm here. I take my yellow band and put it from the middle to the middle to the left and then middle to the right but you don't you don't finish the um, diamond instead of finishing the diamond you take your band and put it up like that instead of finishing it you just put it up don't finish it and then we have to start looming but to start looming you need a cap band and this is how you make a cap band so you take your band I'm using this gold band here And then I put it over my two fingers, make a figure eight. If you know what a figure eight is, you can make it and then put it over. But if you don't, this is what a figure eight is. If your finger is pointing down, it turns up. But if your finger is pointing up, it turns down. Only one turn, not two turns. So then you put it, the other half on top to make this. And then you take it and put it here. Next step is to push all this stuff down so it's easier to loom it. 
I'm just gonna push it down. Sticking your fingers through this is hard because it has um, pegs everywhere. This is what a peg is. This clear thing. That's the peg here. I'll show you what it is, like this. See this blank spot? This is the peg. I'll turn it this way so you can see this side too. But I can also push it down. Okay, I'm going to push it down in the middle. Push it right here. Because I pushed it all down. Now you're going to take a cap it and start. Hmm. So now the cap band has to face you or the empty side has to face you. Either way. Then you take your hook here. Curve is towards you. Then, that, then you should turn it around. But if the curve is not towards you, then it's good. Next step is you take your cap band and push it all the way back. So then you can see the curve is towards you, then that then you should turn it around, but if the curve is not towards you, then it's good. Next step is you take your cap band and push it all the way back. So now the Hook has to be facing away from you, like this. And then you pull your cap band back, and then you reach for the first band with the hook. And the first band should always be the band in front of you. You take that band, I hold it with one thumb and my hook, and put it over the peg that's in front of me, like this one. So it's like a um, type of raindrop shape. Yes. Oh. So now, again, I pull the cap band back, reach for the first band, but the first band should always be a left band. But if it's not, it doesn't really change the bracelet much. And then you pull it back, pull your cap band back, and reach for the last one. And pull it to your right side. Now, you see the middle, the second middle. You pull back the cap band. And then you reach for your first color band. And then you put it to this side because... Or you can put it to that side, whichever one the band is connected to. Because here you can see that this band goes to this thing because the band is connected like this. Oh. And then you do it for the right side. Up to the right. And back down. So now after you do this, you need to always go from left middle to right and when you're going from left middle to right you go look at the bottom black band here and then you go from all the way to the middle if you go to your left one and go all the way to the bottom and grab the bottom missed one pull it up and move it to the front and then you go to the middle go to the top one instead of the bottom one then pull forward. And you go to your right side, go all the way to the bottom, grab the last one, 
and then bring it up. So I can find that last one, which is here. And push it back, grab it, and take it off this one like this, and put it there. So you made one raindrop, two raindrop, and three raindrops. Next, you find your colored band, which is my green, and then move it to my left. Make one raindrop, take this other green, move it to the right, two raindrops. So the bracelet is kind of hard to make, but once you get the hang of it, it'll get easy. So next you take this green one inside the middle raindrop, put it to your left side, take the other green one, put it to the left to make another two raindrops. And then, Go all the way to the bottom, again, grab the bottom one, and then pull it up, up, up to the one in front of it. And you go to the middle, and grab the top one, and pull it up. And then the same thing for the left. You go to the very, very bottom. in front. Then you do the same thing for this blue one. You bring it to the left, go inside, bring it to the right. You go from here to the left, and from this middle to the right. And then you do the same thing for everything. So all these um, diamonds go to either one of these sides, like to either this side or this side. And none of them should stay in this middle ones. The middle ones should be empty, like these ones. Except for this one here, because this one's like being pulled on it. So it should be like empty. So now we're on the last black part. So you go all the way inside, grab the last black. But instead of pulling it straight up, you pull it diagonally to the middle, last middle. Then you go again to the middle, pull it up, and then here, go to the very end, last one, and pull it to the middle, last middle. So now, if I'm going to take this off the loom, but to take it off the loom, I'm going to need another color, which is going to be my silver. So now, first I stick my hook in, and then grab the band with the hook, pull it back up, twist, and hook it back in. So it's connected like this. Then I'm going to twist it to the fat part so it doesn't fall out. Now I'm going to use my other hook and start taking it off.
pull it off. So now, you might think I made it wrong, but if you remember what I told you at the beginning, I said when I took it off, I saw the back side, but when you turn it over, it's the real totem pole bracelet, which looks even better than this side. So now we're going to make the extension for this. And if you don't know what the extension is, it is this part. So I'm making the extension because this part won't fit my hand properly. See, it's still empty here. So I'm going to see how you make the extension. The full side has to face you. And then I'm going to get my colors, which is silver and gold. So if I do silver and gold, I'm going to start off with the silver. Put it up, mix the gold, bring it up, silver, bring it up, gold, bring it up. So you keep on doing that till you think it's enough for your hand. So I'm just going to add a few more of these. The silver and the gold. So now... You take this off your hook, like this, and but before I attach it here, I'm going to take it off, the silver one, like this, and then hook it back on my hook. This, then like this. So that now, I'm going to use two silvers so that it doesn't break. So now, this is not going to be on the loom, this will be on your finger. So you put your two silvers on your finger, and then you put your hook on top, so it hooks like this. And then you have to slowly and pull all, pull the black through silvers so it would go like one two one two three and then i can put the silver back onto my hook like this so now i'm going to take these two and put it on my finger take this up turn it so the empty side is facing you and then put it on like a cap. So now you're going to start looming. But before I loom, I'm going to put this properly. Okay, now I'm going to stick my bracelet that I already made here. So it won't disturb me while I'm looming. Now I pull my pretend cap band back and reach for my gold band. Lift it up and bring it forward. And then get my gold, silver, bring it forward, get my gold, bring it forward, ah. get my silver, bring it forward. And then now, to show you something, I'm going to do this. Take the silver up, and then attach this onto my hook. Next, I'm going to take this up, like this. Just pulling it all up. I can just take it off like this. So now, we we'll put this back on. Like this. And now, I'm going to just adjust this gold one to the back on. So I'm going to get this S clip in my box. Now, you go to the last one, 
and put the S clip on here. So when you take it out, it doesn't fall out. So now it's the same thing. You just take them all off the loom like this. And as you can see, if I attach it and put it on my bracelet, on my hand, pretendly, it won't fit me. So, I'm going to show you how to hand loom now. So you take it off, take the S-clip off, or C-clip, and there will be two rubber bands. You put one rubber band on one finger, another one on the other. So next you take your next color, which will be my gold. Slow. Put it on my two fingers. Take the bottom, take my bottom silver, put it up, take the other side, put it up, like this. So I'm going to do that till I think it's the right size for my hand. Bottom up. Bottom. You take your gold one, put it on top of two fingers, like this. Bring the bottom one up, the other bottom one up, so it looms down like this. So you take my last silver. Put on both fingers, bottom one up, pull back, bottom one up. Now, if you want to end this, you could do a slip knot and end it. So first I'll show you how a regular one is. This is a regular one. You start here, you take one and put it, you take it with another finger and take the finger and put it like this, so the both of them are on the same, on one finger, and then you find your S clip, and then you put the S clip on, so it holds it in place, and then you take your cap band. I like to keep the cap band a different color, so that I can see it, and you hook it on. So this is how it would look without a slip knot, but this is how it look with a slip knot. So it's on both fingers, and then this is the slip knot. You put it on the other finger like this, and then you t transfer this to your hook to make a slip knot. Now you take the one at the the one closer to the end of the hook. And take it off the hook. So then the the front one is only there, and then you pull it to make the slip knot. That's your slip knot. So there's only one band, and you can hook it on. I like to keep two bands on, so I get more support, so it doesn't break easily. And now I'm just going to attach it to my S clip. So now. Flip it over, and here is your bracelet. This is the other bracelet I made before. Two bracelets. So, thank you. so this is my bracelets, and thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and give me a thumbs up. So bye!